Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm your host Buckning and today we're giving you guys the Friday update on the $100 a week portfolio and and we did make a purchase today because that's what we do. We deposit $100 every week uh, on the Tuesdays and then make a purchase on Friday for the stock of the month. And so if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and, and do the channel a favor and just hit that like button. Uh, real simple, real easy. Uh, but we're going to just get right into it. Uh, quick update. And we'll talk about what happened during the week for the market. So we'll go ahead and log in here. So today, we'll just go to our activity of Bank of Nova Scotia that we have purchased today. Uh, and today, we purchased two shares at $54.16 with a total cost of 108.32 which brings our dollar cost our average price of uh, Bank of Nova Scotia stocks down to 54.58 I think it was 54.75 previously and the market did um, it, it did okay today I mean it is what it is so uh, now we have seven shares of Bank of Nova Scotia and we'll update our dividend tracker uh, right in front of your eyes as well so just give you a quick update. Uh, in the day, we are up $1.85. That's 0.45% uh, for the week. We are up $1.58. That's 0.39%. For the month, we are down 83 cents, uh, down 0.2%. And it'll be the same for three months, one year, and all. And so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you know, like this morning, I was kind of scared because not really, but kind of scared that it was just downtrending and then all of a sudden you know it, it got its footing back and and away it went so we're trying to get back the 83 cents that has gone missing and it's not a big deal i'm not too worried about it and so uh st like i think next week we will be doing a stock pick for the month of october i think we're gonna pick two this time and add them to the portfolio and and this is where we're, we're just gonna show you you know how easy it is to start a dividend portfolio how easy it is to start investing yeah, this is probably the one of the safest ways if you're new to investing and you want to learn about investing it's not day trading it's not swing trading it's not calls and puts and things like that this is just simply simply trying to create a portfolio that pays you and and they're relatively safe stocks positions whatever you want to call them um, that will pay you on a quarterly basis, monthly basis, or even a, a yearly basis like some companies do. And so with that being said, we will go to our dividend tracker and we will update this one here. And so uh, last week we were, or actually we did a video on Wednesday where we updated it because we made a mistake on transferring funds too late. So we will so a few days ago we were at 272 dollars down a dollar today uh dividend yield of 6.61 percent and what that means is well and then we'll yield on cost is 6.58 percent so the difference between these two numbers is the fact that if you buy the exact same amount of shares today same as me your dividend yield would be 6.61 percent while mine sits at a lower uh, yield on cost at 6.58%. So you're actually getting more than me by, if, you know, three three basis points. And so, yeah, if you build the exact same portfolio as it is today, you would have a higher yield, uh, your return on investment, than I would. Uh, and that's totally fine because it's only by a few cents. And the annual income right now is $18.00. So we will update this. Uh, Bank of Nova Scotia, five shares uh, at the price today at 54.46. The average cost a few days ago was 54.75. I am at a loss of $1.43. Gone through this, gone through this. Annual income is $18. So we're gonna put a new holding and enter the ticker symbol, Bank of Nova Scotia .to for the Toronto, for the Canada, Canadian stocks. And we bought two shares at the cost basis of $54.16. And we will add that and it'll change some numbers. Okay, so we're back at it again. Here we go. 
381 is the portfolio value. We're down about a dollar. Dividend yield 6.61% today, and yield on cost right now is 6.6. So if you were to buy, sorry, if you were to buy it today, it would be 6.61. You would have 1.01% better return on investment than I would. Annual income right now is at $25. So Bank of Nova Scotia, seven shares. Average cost now is 54.58. Is that correct? Yes. And a profit loss of 83 cents. And our annual income is twenty-five dollars and twenty cents. So we will <clears throat> we will be getting or receiving our dividend the end of October, which is awesome because then we can start um, sharing that with you guys and showing you the actual proof around uh, earning dividends. So yeah, we'll just dive into what happened this week in the market. Um, there were a lot of down days. When it came to the market and and that was a great thing for for people who are, are wanting to invest um th all that means is is you can put more money in if you have it and and buy buy stocks that are relatively safe that have somewhat of capital appreciation so i think if you look at the bank of nova scotia stock if we go for the five or well, five year it's actually down 5.31 percent but there are some stocks like I think it was a uh, Royal Bank. Is it Royal Bank? Yeah, Royal Bank. <clears throat> Royal Bank is another financial institute in Canada. The last five years, it would give you a thirty-one percent capital appreciation. So that's massive. Um, you don't see that big of a movement in in stocks too often, um, especially in in stocks that are. Are, that have a high market capitalization. And so when it comes to to the week, you know, probably the past four weeks, the market has just been getting smacked um, right to the ground. It's like a, it's Friday night smackdown. And, and it is what it is, it, but it is a great opportunity for, for those that want to bring down their, their cost basis or quote unquote, um, uh, basis price cost a dollar cost averaging uh, sorry i'm having a brain fart but yeah it's a, it's a great opportunity for that and 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 i'm taking full advantage of that and so if you're looking to get in the market i think i think even when i said in my last or a few videos back where it was time to invest now the best time is now uh we're, we're seeing we're seeing dips in the market uh you can't time the market but you know you look at you look at the bank of nova scotia because that's all we have right now in this portfolio like the 52 week high on this one so in the past year the highest it hit was $76.75 the 52 week low was $46.38 and so we're like right somewhere in the middle um of of the stock price and and that's a good buy in my opinion i mean today's return was $1.85 and and total return was lost 83 cents but like you don't want to be buying at seventy six dollars. I, I think you want to be buying at forty six and, and and maybe between fifty five, right? Um, and and that's a good thing. So then you're not you're not buying at the high and, and selling at the low when when you know you're feeling that way. But in this case, we are not doing that. We are not selling. We are buying and holding because we're long term, right? When it comes to dividend investing, you want to be in the long term. This isn't um, a penny stock. This isn't a, a get rich process this is a journey it's going to take time and it is what it is and so yeah i mean if you're looking to get in the market now's the time uh we'll see what next week brings and, and october brings um and it's going to be it's going to be fun and so hopefully you guys um did enjoy this video um that's pretty much all i got so uh have a great weekend uh i fall is here i think uh the leaves are turning yellow so enjoy that and and keep on going if, if you have started if you haven't maybe look into it do your research and and remember i'm not a financial advisor i'm definitely not your financial advisor and and don't be picking the same stocks i'm picking because it might bite you in the butt um i'm not here to give you tell you well tell you exactly what to do i'm just here to show you what i'm doing um it's not advice it's just entertainment purposes only and and who doesn't like seeing money grow right and so yeah that's pretty much it and so 
I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, which is probably Tuesday or Wednesday. And we'll have a stock pick or a couple stock picks for October. Just give you a little uh, taste of what's upcoming here. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you if you have any or leave a ticker symbol and I'll do a analysis on on the stock itself. And uh, yeah, do the channel a favor, help us grow and, and hit that like button as well. So other than that, guys, have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.